I'm Lori from Paragon. I'm going to show you a quick tip on what we call face, feet, and Sammy. So um, this service is great for uh, pet parents that have haircut dogs that want a bath in between their haircuts. Um, those are the trouble spots. So they want to see the eyes, they want to make sure nothing's stuck on the back end, and they want to make sure the, feet's not, the, the feet aren't dragging in the dirt. So I'm gonna, we're going to go over this with a small dog and with a large dog. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the face. Um, the first step you're going to want to do is cleaning out the stop area. So you can just kind of imagine this as an upside down V going right into the stop area. So you're going to take your thinners. A lot of times if the, if the dog's scared, again, just like drying, if you come at him this way, a lot of times he's used to it, but they might jerk away. Just a quick tip is you're almost putting them with your shears and then you're going to slide right down into the area you need to trim. So your tips of your thinners are going to be right in that stop area and you're going to just thin it until it's tight. Again, my finger is underneath this loop and I've got just a little bit of uh, muzzle hair that's going to help me hold on to my dog. I'm going to get right the corner of the eyes into the stop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my position and I'm going to come at it this direction right into the stop, into the corner of the eyes. And that's going to clean out that eye area and help with the matting or the matter that comes out of the eyes. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the visor. You can do this with thinners or with shears. You're going to comb everything forward. You're going to start right in the middle. I'm going to take my shears and just tidy up that line and then I'll come this direction so it's not hanging over the face. You can also use your curves and I would go ahead and take my curves in reverse and you can also trim that line. Again, I'm starting right in the middle. Um, it gives it a much more natural look if you're going to use your thinners. And just make sure it's not falling in those eyes. Hello, Sarah with Paragon here. We're going to go ahead and do a face feet and sandy service on a large breed dog. I'm going to start with Jack's face first. So first we're going to go ahead and do a clearing of the stop in an inverted V. So I'm going to comb this visor back so I can see her eyes a little bit clearer. Using my thinning shears, I'm going to go ahead and introduce them to her so she's not startled. And blend here right into that stop area. Clearing out the corner of the eyes. into that V, and then on the other side, we'll go down, clearing that out. Sometimes it's good to take a little comb to help pull it up from between the stop. And then we'll move on to the visor. We'll go ahead and comb this top of the head forward. And using our curved shears, from the center of the head outwards, we're going to go ahead and trim back, angled to the outside of the head. Same thing from that center. And go back towards the ear. And then afterwards, after we get the majority of the length off, we'll comb it forward again using our thinners. I like to blend the outside edge of the eye to open the view up for the dog.
moving that shelf over the back of the eye. 